in early October, I was able to visit Minnesota. And of course, I wanted to visit some antique shops to source some postcards. I had a flight and so I didn't want to carry a lot back. So ephemera is perfect for that. My main mission here was to visit family and a postcard show, which I will show you in a later video. When I was researching for what antique shops to visit in the Twin Cities, I was surprised to find that some of the highest rating ones was in the town I used to live in, and that is Buffalo. The Buffalo Nickel. And when I went in there, I was kind of disappointed because they had mostly home decor, and these postcards I'm looking at right now were actually reproductions, and they wanted $3 each one. So I didn't find a lot there, and I probably spent too much time searching for them, but the next antique store yielded a lot better results. The second antique store I went to in Buffalo was called Annie's Attic. This had more of the older antiques where the other one was mostly vintage and decor. And there were a group of ladies in the front talking. They never said hi to me, but I did find a lot of ephemera, more than I'm showing here. And I wish I had mine, but I had an, a lunch appointment that day too. And back here, there was another building. and. I really remember seeing this when I lived there. Unfortunately, when I lived in Buffalo, I really wasn't into postcards, but there we go, visiting the hometown. This last antique store was in Hopkins, Minnesota, and they have quite a few great antique shops, but this one I wanted to particularly go to because there is a YouTuber that has a booth here, and I will show you that at the end. I didn't find a lot here because they were priced for more for collectors and not for resellers, which is fine. That's what I do too. And they had a downstairs, which I did not go into because time.
smells like sea glass. Mm -hmm. oh, interesting. Oh. That's what they remind me of. So these are 15 mm -hmm. each? Yes. Okay. I don't like that one. And downstairs there's more furniture if you're looking for furniture. It's different. Um, hmm. Let me see this. I think I put it in a different chain, but uh, I would. Yeah, I think it's done. Well. Yeah, I think I'll take this that one. Okay. Great. Yeah. It's got coins. Okay. All right. Good. Thank so you. that last bit was because the um, YouTuber had said that they have taking the old uranium glass that everybody is like uh, excited about over right now and the broken and the chip pieces they take and they make into jewelry. So, oh hi dog. So the lady was saying in the video is that he takes them and tumbles them like any other rock. So it looks a lot like sea glass. Now, I'm going to be putting on a different chain on because this is just like a piece of rope or something and it I, Yeah, I think it needs like a silver chain because it's got a silver hook So I did some research on this and uh, is this safe to wear against your skin? I asked the lady do you have you heard anything about how safe these are to wear and she's like, oh It's just small. It won't hurt and There's people that will say this is harmful if it touches you and some people say you're perfectly fine I intend to not wear this next to my skin it will be on the outside and um, it's and I don't wear necklaces a lot so we'll see <laughs> if I end up having like you know sores or cancer right here or some kind of something there then um, I'll know what that's <laughs> the cause anyways I don't remember right now the name of the youtuber but if I remember I'll put it up and or I'll link it below for you those were the three three of the antique shops that I visited. I did visit more than that, but those are the ones I have video of. Hope you enjoyed it, coming along with me. I will have the um, postcard show video and uh, haul for you soon, probably next Monday or Friday. So hope you have a joyful day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>